is here tonight from the Rock Republic Library. She's going to tell us all about the final scan day of the year. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. So tell me a little bit about scan days and the one that's coming up. So uh, Rockford Public Library has um, moved into the digital age and we invite the public, um, residents of Rockford, to come in and bring in photos, uh, negatives, slides, old postcards, um, anything that's in that junk drawer that tells a story about uh, Rockford. It can be a ticket stub. Um, there's so many interesting little artifacts um, to be found and we are trying to capture all of those and put them in our local history cool. database so that um, anybody could get on the internet and search for these items and find them. So cool. You do this throughout the entire year, but obviously in December, you know, you might be like working on a holiday project or something and realize that you have this photo that you need to be digital and it is not. So this is a great option for someone to come in and do that too, yeah. right? I love that. Um, I have um, a sample. Um, just last week I had a friend that had called and so um, we squeezed her in. I said, bring in your negatives and your photos. And I was really impressed. We use an Epson scanner. Mm -hmm. um, we have digital trays, um, trays that we can put in slides, negatives, but we can also do photos. And so this was something that wow. um, I was really impressed with. Um, this was the original photo that she brought mm -hmm. and she was just looking to capture this photo. Yeah. There are the keepers of photos in your family. There's that one yeah. aunt that for some reason has every single photo mm -hmm. and all of her sisters are really mad. <laughs> They're like, yo, you know, go to Aunt Cicely. She has, you know, all of the photos. Absolutely. So this is great because what we do is we scanned uh, the items, we digitize them, we put them in a file. Um, and then we load them onto a flash drive that the patrons are able to take home with cool. them. Um, my friend uh, that stopped in, Mary Kay, she actually brought the um, uh, USB to Walgreens and then went ahead and printed um, photos off that she included in her Christmas cards oh, that cool. are going out. I'm probably letting the cat out of the bag. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> okay. but I was really impressed with the, the um, difference in sure. you know, the color. So that was really great. Um, she also, these are some old black and whites of her dad, which okay. are awesome. These are the ones I'm sure her family was like, can you share some of those photos right. with us? And honestly, um, I think sometimes once I've scanned the photos, they end up looking better than the originals. Mm -hmm. And so the family's really happy to get those. Yeah, when you're just like taking a picture of an old picture with your phone, it's fine if you're just trying to show someone like, oh, so funny, but you can't use that for anything. No. You yeah. really can't, you have to scan them. Yeah, and you can frame them and now, you know, um, all of these photo companies can put the photo on a mug, a For mouse sure. pad, a calendar, you know, so it's there's really some cool. really great Christmas ideas. So the final scan day for the year, you do this every other month, yes. usually, or throughout the year, mm -hmm. um, December 16th from 2 to 5. Tell us how that works and how we can be a part of it. So all you have to do is uh, you can call me at the library and my number will be on the screen, I'm sure. It's 815-987-6639. Okay. Or you can email me, marie at rockfordpubliclibrary.org. <laughs> okay. And um, we have uh, one hour slots. They go from two to five. Uh, we ask that if you're bringing items in, maybe about 10 items is a good amount. Okay. Um, that's sufficient time for us to do some tweaking and get them perfect. Awesome. If you have a larger collection, um, we can always set something up where you can come back on a different day. Okay. Um, we really are looking for items that are pertain to Rockford. Uh, people that grew up in Rockford, lived in Rockford, uh, a photo of your class. Uh, you know, oh, sure. recently I've had a, a lot of people calling and asking for class photos um, from primary grades. So like first grade through eighth grade, mm -hmm. um, there aren't yearbooks. And yeah. sometimes um, people are just looking for their class picture because they're doing a reunion. Okay. Those are awesome to add yeah. into the Rockford Public Library's um, local history database because when people plan these reunions, they'll be able to access that. Absolutely. Somebody's bound to have it and we want to get it there. Um, so with that said, if you just give us a call, we'll set up an appointment. We'll do uh, two, three, or four. So 2 p.m. to three, three to four, four to five. Sure. I have a coworker, Amber Kressel, who's fantastic as well. And um, so we have six slots available at this point, December 16th. All right. Trying to fill well, those Well, I have a feeling you're going to get some phone calls and some emails, Marie, because people are going to want to get their photos digitized. Like she said, it's happening December 16th. Thanks. 
16th. Thank you so much for coming in, Marie. Spirit Day is next. Tammany and I are making glittery Santa hat cocktails with fancy sprinkles. I can't wait for this. We'll be right back.